All torpedoes of the Mark 13, Mod 6, 7, 8, and 9 type look pretty much like the older models. So what has revolutionized the performance of the torpedo? The shroud ring, commonly called the ring tail, Mark 1, Model 0, in conjunction with a drag ring on the nose of the torpedo, does the trick. This is a steel ring welded to guide vanes of the new torpedo. Using this ring tail with a nose drag ring and wooden stabilizer, successful test drops have been made at 2,000 feet with a speed of 350 knots. Optimum performance is obtained at about 800 feet and 260 knots. The stabilizer is secured to the ring tail with wooden dowels which shear on contact with the water. The drag ring has two primary functions, to aid in air stabilization and to decrease the impact shock about 40% on hitting the water. This is especially useful in cases of extremely high altitude drops. In a torpedo drop, any deviation from true air trajectory is liable to cause damage on impact. The drag ring helps to eliminate pitch and yaw. Like the stabilizer, this disintegrates when it hits the water. A valve, the water trip delay valve, prevents the torpedo turbines from burning up during its long air travel. On leaving the plane, the torpedo is operating only by compressed air. Impact with the water trips the valve, starting normal fuel operation. This valve is secured with wire to prevent the airstream from springing it. Similarly, high speed and altitude make it necessary to prevent the impeller on the exploder mechanism from turning while in flight. A piece of .020 annealed soft copper wire is used. Impact with the water will shear the wire. At high altitudes and in cold climates, special precaution must be taken to ensure a sufficient amount of antifreeze in the water chamber of the torpedo. Buord instructions should be followed. With the new Ordaltz and Forrest, not only will the torpedo be more stable in the air and in the water, with no appreciable broaching or hooking, but initial dives in 85% of cases will be no deeper than 50 feet if the proper entrance angle is used. Remember that proper depth settings must be determined for the type of target to be attacked. This should be in accordance with tactical doctrine. Depth settings as shallow as five feet may be used successfully. Against armored vessels, it is necessary to set the depths to strike below the armor to achieve maximum destruction. However, take care that the torpedo is not set so deep that it will pass under the target. Recent statistics show that of 2,000 torpedoes dropped under varying conditions, about 92% ran hot, straight, and normal. And in combat, the percentage of hits with torpedoes is greater than that of any other form of attack against shipping. <laughs>